In this tutorial, we are going to look at the steps involved in helping kids write a summary paragraph from the stage of planning all the way through drafting, revising, editing, and publishing. So let's begin by clicking on our add-ins button, which will bring up the Write Tools menu. And we're going to go down to Write Tools Forms. And what we're looking for is the form to help us write a summary. And we're going to begin with planning a fiction summary. And the D here indicates that this is a form that can also be turned into a draft. So I'm going to click on planning a fiction summary. That will open up. And then I'm going to go ahead and close my form box and take a look at the form here for planning a fiction summary. Now the top part of this form is the plan, the bottom part is the draft. And the example I'm going to use is The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. This is the beginning of our three-part summary topic sentence. The verb I want to use is describes. And my main idea, my big picture, is Peter's adventures in the snow period. Now for my jot dots we have the beginning, middle, and end. And this is where we want to use just words and phrases. Remember our rule of five, Peter playing in snow. Just the most important words here. I'm going to click down and do my ending next. This is what we encourage you to do with the kids. He wakes up to new snow. And then we're going to shift and tab back to our middle. Um, he has many activities while he's outside that day. He takes the snowball home in pocket. Peter's sad when it melts. He has a bad dream and when he wakes up there's new snow. Now the bottom part of this form is the draft. And if we have the big ideas at the top, we can look at them as we write our complete sentences at the bottom. So our topic sentence, we're going to take our three parts and combine them into one big sentence. The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats describes Peter's adventures in the snow. So our first dot says Peter playing in snow. I'm going to write to begin, Peter goes outside to play in the deep snow that has fallen. Next sentence, he finds many activities to keep him busy. Next sentence. After a while, Peter decides to make a snowball and take it home in his pocket before he goes to bed that night. He discovers his snowball has melted. This causes him to have a bad dream. You see what we're doing here is we're taking these words and phrases and we're turning them into complete sentences. In the morning, Peter wakes up and discovers that new snow has fallen. Now, I believe I have the sentences that I would like to have in my summary paragraph, but I want to look at them on a sheet of paper, sort of laid out. So I'm going to open my Write Tools menu again here, and I'm going to go to Draft Publish. Click on that and come over here and um, look for the button that says Summary, because this is what I'm drafting is a summary. I'm going to click this button. I'm going to click this button because what we're drafting here is a summary, not a response to literature. 
and my plan is going to turn into a draft. Now this particular um, paper has some errors so we're going to go to our revising and editing spelling and grammar and do some corrections. Now I see that I've spelled the word outside wrong so I'm going to change that to the one they suggest. I see I've um, forgotten a capital letter so I'm going to fix that. Oh I've smelled snow, spelled snowball wrong I'm going to fix that. Now I think it's um, ready to go. I have another important step here that I've learned that when I'm writing a title of a book I need to underline it. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to underline my title, The Snowy Day. I'm going to highlight it first and then I'm going to hit Control U and that pops in the underlining of the title of the book. Uh, I would like to add my name to this so I'm going to go up here to the menu where it says add name and date. I'm going to put in my name. Um, my name is Carolyn Simmons. The date is July 1st of 09. And I'm going to list my teacher's name, Mrs. Keith. And it's um, period, I don't need that. And I'm going to add this to my paper. And now I have a um, final copy of a summary paragraph that's all ready to print out. So I just go up to my print bar, hit the print button, and um, this is all ready then to print out and turn into my teacher.